did everything that all right, I what up though? Welcome everybody and thank you all for coming out to our first ever beat and greet. We got a special guest in the building, Doc Queets, Rich Gates yeah. on. What up though, homie? What it do, what it do? How you feeling right now? Feel good. You know what I'm in Orlando? Not at Disney though, but I'm with my fans. And I seen you tweeted that joint earlier. You said you, you wish you'd be able to stop by Disney one time. I know, I want to go see my homie Mickey. So you, oh, you and Mickey cool already? Yes, I was like five. Five? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, all right, that's dope. All right, so uh, first and foremost, I go by the name of D-Royale, 104.5 The Beat Zone. Um, you know, really honored to be able to chop it up with the newest, hottest artist right now. We just started spinning the record, and it's a slapper. Yeah. Uh, like Baby Joy. How you For feeling? Sure. How you feeling right now with, with that record being out? How is that taking you, your notoriety, and success to another level? What's been the difference between last year and this year with the emergence of that record? Um, It's been a big difference last year and this year. You know, first of all, you know, for the simple fact that I'm in a whole other position. You know, last year was the year that I signed, but this year that we actually applying pressure, you know what I'm saying? And it feel real good, you know. I just be seeing all my fans, you know, like post videos like Jacquees out here on the radio, you know. <laughs> I know they've been waiting so long for that, so it just feel good, man. I feel blessed, you know. I got it popping right now, so it just feel good. And this is and this is really dope too, cause you dropped your uh, break your EP last year. Yeah, nineteen. 19. Yeah. Well, nah, that wasn't. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah, twenty fourteen, I think it was. And I remember seeing the interview that you did where you talked about the journey you have with Chris Brown. Now that was a major yeah. look for you. How did that even come? How did you and Chris Brown even collaborate? How did that even come about? Um, you know, Chris growing up, that was uh, one of my idols. That was somebody that I looked up to. You know, he was he was a dope artist. You know. Dope person. Um, Chris reached out to me. Um, I dropped a song called Girls Love Rihanna. Word. And uh, his team basically reached out to me and uh, they flew me out there. And, you know, we started working in the studio. You know, me and Chris got records that we actually wrote together. And we got records that, you know, that we own there together. So, you know, we, we got a lot of big stuff coming. So I don't want to spill the beans because I, mean, I know I was, that's something real big for me and my to, fans. I was so. just about to get into that. I was about to ask you now. The Light Baby Joint is doing numbers right now. I yeah. gotta ask, when is the next EP? When's the next album? When, when you go like Baby, it, make sure you go get that on iTunes. Can, can y'all please go buy like Baby? On Cop, iTunes, cop that yeah. 19 EP joint on iTunes. Yeah, it's on iTunes. Yeah, it. But uh, so what can what we what we expect the next? What's the next? What's the next single? We got an album. Um, you looking me and Birdman, we about to get ready to drop an album together, Bird. like something like a mixtape. Um, that's coming. I don't know if it's coming this month or next month, but it's called Lost at Sea. So. Y'all make sure y'all like baby is a single off of Lost at Sea. So Lost at Sea is the album that's that we get. Lost at Sea is the joint album with me and Birdman. That's, that's right. not a Jacquees album by itself. That's the that's the new way for Rich Gang though. Yeah, yeah, you know Rich Gang. He's Rich Gang that I'm bang. Yeah. So how did you even link with Birdman and Rich Gang? Because I know you're from you're from Atlanta, right? You know I'm from Atlanta. I'm from Decatur. That's what's up, Decatur the building. So yeah. um, how did you even link with Birdman and Rich Gang? How did that even transpire? Um, Stunner was doing a lot of work in the A. He was working with Corn and Thug already. And uh, you know, they're my boys, they're my brothers. So I reached out to Corn Pops and I was just like, you know, I need a situation because I felt like I had done everything I could do independently. And um, Stunner was in the A and I basically made a phone call to Corn Pops and I was like, man, I'm looking for a situation. And I had the Soldier song that was out, you know, off the 19 EP. And I had just shot the video for it. So uh, they was like, man, send me some. And I sent him the song, then he called me back again. He was like, well, send me the video. And that was the second call. Then on the third call with Birdman, you know, and Birdman was like, "I'm gonna put you down." You know what I'm saying? Don't need trip. And so like, I was, you weren't nervous because you you have been grinding for a minute. Nah, I'm a minute. gangster. I ain't nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Real get nervous. That's what's nah. up, though. So um, shout out to all the fans for coming out. Also, I see you brought the ladies out. So shout yeah. out to all the beautiful ladies. Yeah, out shout out to all my fans, Team Jack Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we gonna open up the floor a little bit. We gonna uh, get some questions. Also, we on we on Periscope with this joint too. So follow us on Twitter. Uh, I should have got on Periscope. I'm gonna make a Periscope. You, you have a Periscope. I think I got one. I'm gonna make one. Y'all gonna watch.